Hey, what's up, humans? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. As you can see, and I just discovered this when I started recording just now, that we have the broom in the background underneath the hog head. I don't think we've seen that one before. Gonna take into account of everything that we have. Because we now have, uh, actually, now this actually makes sense. As we're looking at this area, right, though it's not set up the way that I have mine set up, this is the room. The room of requirement. This is mine. <laughs> I'm working real hard to make this look like shit. <laughs> I got flying books, but they're not books I capture. See? The Room of Requirement. And before we set off today, I would like to thank all of you for showing up. <laughs> I would also like to thank you all for continuously being here through every episode. And you guys have been commenting in the in the comments because that's where you where you comment. And uh, it's just been nice to to read from all of you. And, uh, you know, a lot of you have been writing comments in, in every video. So, it's just nice to have that awesome reaction. So, it's more the first time on this channel that that has happened. So... We've reached a milestone here. Some actual engagement. And I believe I said this in the last episode. But I was wondering... You know, what you guys would like to see beyond uh, Hogwarts Legacy here. What are your favorite games that you love to watch people play for the first time? So, you know, let me know. It's like, and I'll, t I'll take them into account because I may have played them already. Uh, so, and I'll let you know. And if it doesn't bother you if I have played a game before, then also let me know that. And I'm, I'd be happy to play an old game that I have played. I mean, I have played Mass Effect on here, and that's like the... 5,000th time I've played it. So it doesn't bother me. But when when it comes down to blind doing blind playthroughs, I think that they're a lot of fun because you, you don't know what you're going to expect uh, going into that experience. But the people who do show up for those videos, that they do know. And I think that that's really cool. And again, I watch people play uh, Mass Effect for their first time. It's one of my favorite things to do and it actually kind of, well, there was one one person that I watched play through it and he kind of, uh, you could say, inspired me to do my own. But for the most part, as I've been doing my own stuff here, Ditney leaves. Enjoy that. Nine minutes. Ten minutes. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah. For the most part, I had been using Mass Effect as a way to kind of train myself to do different things. So, one was to... Uh, 
to train myself how to do the recordings and be present on camera and learn how to edit with, you know, with the software and, and just, you know, trial and error type stuff. And that's why that first, uh, that first Mass Effect playthrough is kind of total dog shit. <laughs> I'll actually travel somewhere. Um, and then with Mass Effect 2, I was learning how to how to live stream. So I did all my trial and error over there. I owe a lot to Mass Effect. And I have a, a new channel that I'm developing that is going to be dedicated to just that. So all the readings and gameplay and other things like theories and such are going to be on that channel so on this channel we can just focus on doing playthroughs whether whether they be blind or not uh i would prefer to do live streams not blind that way i i'm not trying to focus myself on a story and then also read chat and such uh, yeah. Well, here's one thing, and I've kind of been experimenting with it recently because we've had some, some news that has upset me and made me react to it. Uh, not necessarily watching a video and reacting to it, but reacting to, to the news that I had recently heard. Like, for instance, uh, WB Games here deciding that they're going to double down on live service games after the success of Hogwarts Legacy. And I'm just like, you're, you guys are morons. Hogwarts Legacy did well because it's a single player game. It says secret rooms. Map chamber, room of requirements, that's how we get to those. Some of these are black. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think we can go there yet. But... Okay. <laughs> it's time to have some fun. Up. We have our awesome broom stick. So let us look at this castle. Down, up. What is this? Perfect place to have a seat. I'm locked out. Got a 
so I always have to do that. Okay. Up. Can I not go any higher than this? No. No. I can't just jump off of it. Not very immersive if I can't just jump off of my broom hundreds of feet in the air. Whoa, big place. I'm like, it's so quiet. That's my fault. Imagine. Hey you, Ravenclaw. I have a name. And it's Jonathan Starburn. Someone put up the goalpost. What did you just do? Yeah, you dizzy yet? <laughs> I'm way cooler than all you cats. Don't worry about me, guys. Milda Reyes? What's this? Time trial. Yes. Imelda Reyes? Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. That's not what happened. I was not allowed to say no. <laughs> I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Uh, what sort of courses are these? Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got. 
fifth year. Oh, okay. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh, God. Success. Whoa. Could have done better. I did not go through that ring. You couldn't tell I've already given up. <laughs> Keeps rising for no reason. This is rather fun. Except for when he doesn't need. It's like it's actively fighting me. Stop. Ah. I clicked in the stick. Stop rising. It's not. Flight controls. Made it. Ah, it's real finicky. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Yeah, did anyone else see that? Oh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, no, I. Fine. In fact, you fucked up. <laughs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. All right. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. It was definitely a fluke. An absolute fluke. I mean, you guys saw that. Ain't no denying it. I also even admitted it that I had given up. And yet, that was a little easy. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so I can't pick to invert, oh, flying controls, that's what I wanted. Now, I did turn motion blur off, right? believe that's it all right so now this is 
suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. The fuck was that? Oh fuck. <laughs> They're not attacking the children. I said, get up. I never thought someone would ever best a Melvis time. Did anyone try? You're not in the castle. Gotta play this game again. That'd be awesome. This is so cool. Herbology. Ah. No, enter. Truly is. An open world. <laughs> and with that majestic music. To the stars! Yeah, this is as high as we can go. So I just wanted to make sure So we need to dive in here where she is just down or directly out from here where that bog 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 thing was <laughs> I've decided when I play this as as a Gryffindor, I'm gonna be an absolute dick. All the Merlin trials are out here. Fall Barton Castle. Aaronshire. Look at all those things.
It's a cool way to do the map. Can't believe it. Whoa. I haven't even really checked it out. that touchpad. Yeah, let's, let's go to the courtyard. too hard. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight. You just over here mumbling to yourself about that? Don't be so upset that I beat him. We'll do more du dueling soon. Protego! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see me now. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Ah, uh, you think this is disguised? Oh, he's just staying behind, I guess. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Is 
these etchings on the wall here. Port key, or at least the key that we had. Gringotts key, that's also a port key to Gringotts. Interesting. I'm going to stop looking like this. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I had anything better. A turban. Cowboy hat ish. That symbols the key, which is front and center of the Hogwarts Legacy title. Must be nothing else. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm here to learn magic. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Let's go. It may take a while to get the feel for it. 
Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. Let's see here. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. They better. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Wow, it's got distance. Wow. I have to say. I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. He may not have been in battle with us, but he did take the fall for us. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Confringo! Nobody can hear me. Sorry.
Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. All right, well, no need for threats, man. Uh, I was just doing my friend a favor by not saying it, but if you come to that conclusion on your own, then I mean, he's still in there. Um, sorry? It's not that I'm trying to lie to you, I'm just trying to protect someone. And I have come across other things by myself, so like the hidden herbology corridor with that big plant. So, yeah. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I don't know what to say. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. It has. Okay, so it has a little indicator down here in the HUD. Hmm. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Send these letters late, don't you? Trying to sleep. Play Mamba number five. Rebellion. Uh, it's just the same song you've been playing. Oh, hey. Back in the old days, people used to dance really weird. Thought that was a globe. No fly zone. But that gives me an idea.
Revelio. What are these? It looks like I can talk with someone here. It says something to talk to. You know, a, a bubble, a, a speech bubble with dots in them. I don't, I don't know what that is. What are you up to now? Don't worry about it. Let's be a little bit more sneaky about this. I do not like that sound. Revenio. It's not my favorite sound effect. Ha! Ah, scared you. See that? That's how you do it. I thought you'd have to fly up there. So that probably means you can't fly in the great staircase area. Oh, yes, this. Is it time for astronomy yet? rest how nice to see you my young friend it must be class time I know that's below me astronomy soon I'm sure man ominous is a dick You missed. You missed, dude. Nope. Rebellion. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. The tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy. Foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts he had, uh, had he succeeded. Trolls! Don't show them the door! Hello? You like this stuff? I've been to all those worlds. 
All of them. If you're deceased and you're a ghost, can you travel the galaxy? If you can, I'd be so jealous. Am I on the right floor? No. I see you, cat. I think I'd definitely pet that cat. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. D do you want some help? If it isn't the That's what that means. So someone is in that bathroom. Professor, what did you mean when you said your education wasn't traditional? <laughs> I had bet myself a butter beer you'd be back to ask about that. <laughs> it seems I've earned myself a trip to the Three Broomsticks. My father insisted rather adamantly that fun had no place when it came to learning. I struggled with his rather Socratic method of teaching, made no progress with even the simplest spells until I made a game of it. As the process itself became a source of joy, I was able to better retain what I was being taught. I realized then how much fun was to be had in learning, and I decided to become a professor so that I may pass that joy along. I'm glad you did, because that's what I've always wanted from any of my instructors, teachers, and professors, is that, you know, make this fun, because for people like me with ADHD, it's... It's hard to keep focus if we're just supposed to be on that on that grind and you know read this, do a paper, blah blah, right? It's like, but if you actually are using it to like apply knowledge, like for instance, the difference between uh, physics and math is that math is literally telling you solve this uh, solve this equation, and then you're like why and that your teachers don't tell you why and then it's not until you take physics that you realize oh these are physics equations thanks <laughs> that's all you had to say it's like oh well yeah i mean this is a formula that determines uh gravity and they're like solve for for X, which could be mass or density or even velocity. So if they would have just said something, then I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Anyway, I'm glad he is teaching in a fun way, which actually helps people like me retain the information. I, for one, am glad. I very much enjoy your class. Delighted to hear. Now. I shall not keep you from your studies, nor time with your fellow students, both of which are invaluable to your education. That's professor speak for get out of my office. Leave me alone. Don't you have parties to go to or something? Cerberus. There was someone in a bathroom. Purge defending Hogsmeade against trolls. That was a you know, while ago. Such a thing as trying too hard. Wait a minute. You, you know, you don't have to be a dick. Go easy on Sebastian. And now it's gone. Are you still talking to me? I see. So that's a really cool like difference here. Whenever you see him around, he's got his wand out and it's blinking. Like sonar. So cool. 
Anyway. Go faster. I'm supposed to be heading somewhere. And as for your question in a few episodes back, I just pick up quests. That's what I do. I like to fill my quest log. So if you're asking why I don't, you know, do them immediately, is because I, I don't have to. <laughs> I'm perf perfectly fine dealing with it later. Why? You guys are dicks. You're, oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Uh, yeah. That broom you, uh, you sold me is way faster than you think. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. <sighs> Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Who's doubting you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Can't wait to hear more. Goodbye. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Wasn't entirely correct with that. It was fighting me. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. My broom's crazy. My mother used to say I was lazy. Wouldn't pick up my toy, she said. Her own fault for teaching me acne. What's the point of toilet? Oh, well, I'm here. Yeah, I might be able to say something to all Ollivander here. Hello. 
Greetings, Mr. Ollivander. I visited the Owlery, as you suggested. Oh, it's the intrepid young sleuth. Well, what did you find? Was my inkling correct? It was, but I don't think either of us could have predicted where I'd end up. Most intriguing. Where did it all lead? I met the ghost of Richard Jackdaw himself. He pointed me to the cave where he died, wand in hand. Astonishing! So, he was the culprit, and? I did indeed find your family wand, but it was in pieces, beyond repair. Ah, well, I suppose I'm not surprised after all this time. Most unfortunate. But there you have it. In any case, you have mine and my family's thanks. At least now we know what happened. I shall tell them what I've learned and what you have done for us. Nope, that's it. Okay. I thought that something was going to go across the screen there. Anyway. Seeds. Zonkos. Don't get distracted. We're here for seeds. We need to go here anyway. everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Always actively brewing because you got a business to run. Buy. What can I do for you today? Just, just to buy things for now. Maybe not. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I need to go to the other guy. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. She sounds annoying. How about help? I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Invisibility potions. Just up the bridge. Welcome. Come on in. So, no. where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> it only has two of those. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Why not? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. 
thank you for all of your help. You know what? Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I'll actually take some. A wise decision. Thank you. I wish I could select more than one. A wise decision. Thank you. Let's get some of these guys. Wise decision. Thank you. And some of these guys. Oh, wise uh -huh. decision. We have Thank no you. money now. I hope to see you again. Very I'm an well alchemist. Now. I'm an aspiring alchemist. Dance of the dead. You have uncollected what? You said you have uncollected something. Are the all the pages? I can't jump, y'all. But I thought this might be a graveyard. Ancient magic here. Nope. Staring right at me. Stop making the noises. Get out of here so I don't hear, have to hear it. Brood pier. Oh, tis locked. Well, I don't know how to pick a lock, so. Well, and a pickpocket, yeah. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost the Deerical around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Oh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Huh. Finally! I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. I didn't even see that bird, but it was barely here. I work for tips, so I understand. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
Anybody else here work for tips? checking I can, I can literally just see it whenever that goes away or the music does there it is That looks like a ball that can move. We Yeah, this game got way better with the broom. There it is. Oh, we're going way down here. This, this must, must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Must be. Well, thanks for taking the words out of my mouth. Look at this world. I'm not here. Please fuck off. An actual stamina bar. It's like a place right out of a set Pippin should have been here by now. I was saying something. Madam Luang? I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why did you buy them? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Rather not. Do you want me to make them for you? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Uh, 
Uh, that didn't last long at all. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Then I'm sorry I helped him. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. We can send an owl. What do you have for sale? I don't have much anymore because I gave him all my, today? my goddamn stuff. Oh. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Lots to do here. No trolls. Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your guns. All I'll say. Revelio. Ginger root. The barkeep in Keenbridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off his customers' nausea and keep them imbibing a little bit longer. What are you doing? It's not cool. Jesus, Jonathan. They were refilled. What is in these mugs? Should be smashed by now. Hey, I'm I'm Jonathan, and I I'm a fifth year student. <laughs> That's the end of it because uh, yeah. No one slams mugs like that and goes, Yep, I'm fine. Hello. Just when I thought I was fine with the one that I have, then they go ahead and... Shoot, no, stop. They give me a new one that I actually think is... Interesting. Give me an upgrade. Look at that.
That is dope. We've been wearing that robe for so long, why don't we wear something a bit more incognito? Where are you going? I see. Thank you for making the executive decision to hop that. We're gonna have to fly all the way back there. Take a look at those again. So now we can just chill. Learning how to fly. I do like how, for the most part, this game is seamless. Going from one side to another. Which is probably what you would hope for, for a game like this. There's just, it's just too bad there's no Quidditch. Maybe they were like, I don't even know how we would, how we would put Quidditch in this game. We did like how would we make the controls so that they're not confusing or whatever because yeah you have your flight controls that's taking up most of your controller still oh I can if I'm going a certain speed and I'm holding it there then I can't go up and down Or I'm an idiot. <laughs> yep, I'm an idiot. <laughs> ha! Scared you, didn't I? Excuse me. I have a message that, an urgent message that I must deliver urgently, urgently so. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Apparently you suck. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? There was no problem. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. I'd like an additional fee. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. The Potioneer's Cap. 
Okay, but if I wear that, can my hair just like flow down like it does here? Please? Because then I wear it all the time. Because that's kind of my look. Yeah! Rebellion. Time to go back to the castle. Wait. Swarm of butterflies. Well, we can't have that. I'd like to buy some meat. Excuse me, do you want business? Seemed offended I was standing there. Only I could invent a new problem. Ah, child. You're back. Nice to see you again. Oh yeah. What are we looking for today? You got the um, upgrades? No? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Upgrades. Oh, will there ever be another week? I need a beer. I knew violins can be made naturally. Can I have an instrument? I guess we got a full song here. A full sheet of music being played. We should have the keys moving in accordance with how the notes are. That would be cool. You can play the piano in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's just 
I mean, it's a little bit harder to learn it that way than uh, traditionally. Tickling the ivories. Not related to this game, but what is your favorite instrument? Mine here is the piano, actually. The, the piano. Sorry, the piano. So yeah, what's your favorite instrument? And if you say theremin, Mad respect. I think it's restarted. Nope. That's the end. That's the end. We made it through a song. That was lovely. Yeah, favorite instrument. What was that? Favorite instrument is the piano. Now keep all that in mind. There will be a quiz at the end of this series. Everybody's just like, oh, I did not sign up for this. You're going to quiz me? Off on another adventure, are we? Shh. Can't fly in here. Okay, so that is where we have that disconnect. Thank you. Did I say we're a level 18 wizard? I can't remember. Hi. There's a key around here somewhere. Sure. I hear you. Hi. Hey, listen. Hi. If I could have my broom. Is it over there? Why does this lead nowhere? Rebellion. Why does this lead nowhere? Two of these doors in the same area. Hey, listen! Revelio. 
Mario. That goes down to the witch, oh, the one eyed witch's passage. This is where faculty is. Ah, this buffalo is sitting on you. You ain't going nowhere. I have not pet a cat in the faculty area. Talking to me? Revelio. Does this lead to herbology? It leads to stuff to eat. The House Elf Recipe Book, rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a, collect a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled uh, dir dirigible plums, pickled dirigible plums are likely an acquired taste. Level 19 wizard. Apple. Oh no, I've been poisoned. And now where are we? Where did we just go? Rebellion. Pear portrait. If one tickles the pear in this still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to the Hogwarts kitchens. Revelios. Hufflepuff Barrels. To enter the Hufflepuff common room, one must tap the barrel two from the bottom, middle from the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. An errant tap will result in being denied access and doused in vinegar. Let's see. One tap the barrel two from the bottom. Middle of the second row. Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Huffle Puff. Helga Huffle Puff.
This is the entrance. Helga, Hufflepuff. Helga, Hufflepuff. Nope, you're just gonna spray me with it. And we probably can't see. Probably can't go into other houses. It does work. does work. Anyway. Kitchens. give you guys tools I don't think I'm ever going to eat here again not that I have only been eating peanuts and drinking all the beer that's just left out. Says won't eat here, eats here. Mmm, candy. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. So, yep. The uh, Tough job, dishwashing. Rebellion. Y'all got gear here. It's nice. Saber, Ash, Ash Brown. You guys aren't disappearing from me, from my sight this time. House of Living Quarters. Every practical and creative. But ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village like home for themselves among these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchens. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside, as house elves have an extraordinary magic of their own. Hopefully they can make the places bigger in there. Rebellion. Get out of here, rats. Gold rimmed. Not good to drink wine like that. Oh, is this butter beer? Is butter beer wine? I think you're missing. You do that in my kitchen and you're fired. You're fired! Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. 
Revelio. Kitchen tables. When Hogwarts house elves place prepared food on these tables, it is magically transferred to the tables in the Great Hall directly above. Magic. You guys got any water here? I would like some water. Is that my fault? If so, I'm sorry. Dinner time. Slytherin. So then this is our table, though. That's a badger. Are we a badger? <sighs> Oh, I'm a level 19 wizard. Wait, no, I, I said that. My bad. It's been quite the journey. That is not where I wanted to be. Back here. Because we've got to put more of these in place. Looks like three more. 
three more to go. So we can finally see what's in there. Revelio. So I hear stuff, and then I feel like I should be hitting that immediately, unless if it's upstairs. Well, you know the deal. Thank you humans so much for watching today and joining on this ever expanding playthrough that I've been doing. I flew around a bit. One, one a time trial by accident and did some side quests. We traveled the length of the map pretty much and uh, found some more objects, learned a few more things. And found some secret areas, and I hope that Sebastian doesn't hate us for that, uh, for his friend uh, Ominous, to be able to discern exactly why I was in there. Even though I was trying to lie to him. Uh, and I didn't want to, I mean... Maybe I wouldn't have said anything about Sebastian if I said, hey, no needs for threats or whatever. That was the other option I didn't pick. So, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, in the next episode, we will meet with Mr. Fig about the map room. I don't know if we're probably going to travel there and show him ourselves or what's going to happen. But we're going to do that. And then we're also going to do some of the the assignments that Professor Garlic and Professor Sharp have given us. And then oh, I don't know. Whatever happens. I mean stuff will probably get in the way of me doing things so we'll, we'll see. So thank you humans so much for watching. No that is not beer. And I'll see you star side.